Hey, hi guys, welcome back, welcome back. I know what most of you are probably thinking, yeah? Uh, so where have you been the past two months? Uh, to be frank, I was quite busy, yeah? To be frank, I was quite busy. Um, there were some school talks, uh, events, yeah, uh, meetings. But I think um, most of my time was contributed towards Form 5 Notes, yeah? Form 5 Notes, uh, and uh, with that said, uh, to kickstart today's session, uh, guys, to kickstart today's session, a uh, big thank you to all of you who supported me in Shopee. I tell you guys, the response was overwhelming. Serious. Uh, to the extent, uh, to the extent, right, um, my, uh, of course, you would know by now, my, my best sellers would be the essay books, uh, uh, Biophysics and Chemistry, uh, okay? Uh, to the extent that it earned some ranking in Shopee whereby I don't know guys it occupied the top five uh. it occupied the top five but the funny thing is if you realize here I don't know why guys it's considered UPSR category huh? yesterday I just realized yesterday I just realized yeah so uh, anyway it's not the ranking that matters it's not the um, so with uh, you know, with all the support that you have shown, uh, I managed to come up with the Form 5 notes. I think this round is very well done. Yeah, uh, It's not like the Form 4 notebook all compiled, but rather I decided to split it out into different books. And it's single-sided. It's single-sided, uh, bilingual, Quite well done. I think this this one is really well done because a lot of effort poured into it, lah. Okay, so guys, if you're keen to get this single sided, uh, uh, that's why so thick, uh, If you're keen to get this, you 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 can get it from Shopee, lah. Uh, but if you find that, sir, I have been using a reference book. I am very comfortable with it. Okay. Uh, I think you just continue using it, uh, guys, because you have a few moments to SPM, uh. Yeah, it's all up to you. Okay, so uh, on that account, oh yeah, this is how it looks like, sorry. Uh, this is how, I, in fact, I'm teaching you this today. Eh. It's called Double Fertilization. Dalam BM Person Yewaan Ganda Dua. If you're used to the way I teach my words and so on, then it's the same. Eh. How I teach the notes is exactly like that. Yeah. Okay, alright. Okay guys, let's start. Eh. So, uh, we're looking at chapter 6. We're looking at chapter 6, but the number. And our focus is more to double fertilization straight away. Persenyawaan uh, ganda dua. Of course, prior to this, sebelum persenyawaan ganda dua, you must have learned formation of colon green, penghasilan Butir debunga dan juga uh, pundi embrio. Pundi embrio ini dalam BI we call it embryo sac. So guys, with these two done, okay, when you go through these two, only you will get double fertilization. Only you will understand this uh, double fertilization. Okay. So, for those of you yang telah belajar di sekolah, you take it as revision. Tengok kefahaman ada di situ ke tidak. If you haven't seen this before, sir, I have no clue. It's time to learn it well lah. Okay? Now, guys, double fertilization, first step is always pollination. Pollination, uh, pollinasi whereby the pollen grain is transferred to the stigma okay pollen grain is transferred to the stigma uh, this is pollination the moment it lands on the stigma bila sampai di stigma kita panggil pollinasi ya. nothing else nothing else next after pollination Okay, just to recap, uh, that's generative and cute nucleus in the pollen green. Now, guys, after pollination, uh, a sucrose solution is formed. Sucrose solution or sugar solution also can. Okay, what's the function? 
function is to stimulate germination of the pollen grain. Okay, dalam BM percambahan, percambahan butir de bunga. What is the meaning of germination? Apakah maksud percambahan? It means a pollen tube is formed. A pollen tube is formed. Guys, a pollen tube is formed. Okay? Now, as the pollen tube is formed, the tube nucleus will enter. The tube nucleus will enter while the generative nucleus undergoes mitosis. Okay, melalui proses mitosis untuk menghasilkan dua nucleus jantan. To form, it undergoes mitosis to form two male nuclei. To form two male nuclei, yeah? Okay. Uh, one more time, uh, guys. I start from the beginning, uh. So, very simple. First point, pollination. Pollen grain transferred to stigma. A sugar solution or sucrose solution is formed. Apakah fungsi larutan ini? Uh, for germination of pollen grain. Yeah, for germination of pollen grain. The exam can ask you, okay, but... Guys, exam can ask you in the form of K-bar. What happens if this is not formed? I always tell students, when, it, when you see something that is not present anymore, very simple. It's just like I ask you. Guys, what happens if there's no nucleus in the cell? Okay, apa akan berlaku jika lau tak ada nucleus dalam cell? Sebab kita uh, fase bahawa nucleus mengawal semua aktiviti dalam cell, all you have to say is, tak ada nucleus, tak boleh mengawal semua activity. Yeah, no nucleus cannot control the activities. So here guys, what do you think is the answer for this? No sucrose solution, no germination of pollen grain. Okay, percambahan tidak boleh berlaku. Okay, so, now with sucrose uh, or sugar solution, a uh, pollen tube is formed. As the tube nucleus enter, as the tube nucleus enter the pollen tube, generative nucleus, generative nucleus undergoes mitosis to form two nucleus jantan, dua, uh, two male nuclei. Dua nuclear jantan, yeah? Okay, from here, you have to be very clear, guys. In my notes, I stated uh, clearly uh, the function for tube nucleus, alright? So, uh, function of tube nucleus, uh, function of tube nucleus uh, is actually to... Eh, hey, sorry, sorry. Alamak. Uh, tube nucleus, the function is the one I miss out. So if you okay, let me tell you the function first. So tube nucleus, guys, the function is to lead. Function to lead the two male nuclei to the embryo sac. Okay, to the embryo sac. So look first, uh, look first. Tube nucleus lead the two male nuclei to the embryo sac. Okay, so uh, yeah, if you if you uh, if you have my book, uh, um, it's under it's under uh, twenty one point four point four. You need to add in this sentence, ah, uh, uh, tube nucleus lead the two male nuclei to the embryo sac. Uh, kita akan tengok nanti kenapa. So why is this point uh, important? Okay. Tube nucleus, they lead the two male nuclei to the embryo sac. Membawa dua nucleus jantan ke uh, pundi embryo. Okay, that's number one. Number two, uh, guys, the pollen tube, uh, they enter through the bottom. Uh, when I say this, sometimes the, the boys don't know why I'm very excited. Uh, but anyway, anyway. So, uh, enter from the bottom Y. Okay? 
because there is something called a micro file. There is something called a micro file. Okay, bukaan di bawah kita panggil micro file. Yeah. So here I like to always use a very <laughs> applicable situation to explain. Huh? You see, again, guys, just to clarify, this is the tube nucleus. This is the these are the two not generative huh? these are the two male nuclei so i like to think the i like to think of the tube nucleus uh, as a what grab driver as a grab driver guys have you taken a, a grab right before yeah so if let's say you take a grab from your house to the shopping mall okay you take grab from your house to the pusat beli belah uh, when you reach your destination, what happens next? Uh, I know some of you, yeah, so pay money lah, pay money, okay? Uh, after you pay money, you get down. My question is, does the Grab driver follow you into the Pusat Beli Belah? Obviously no, obviously no. So what happens to the Grab driver? Our friend leaves the destination. Okay, have to cari makan again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so why this grab situation? Situasi yang selalu berlaku di sini juga di mana apabila mereka sampai destinasi that is the embryo sac uh, the tube nucleus will disappear Have a look at the first dot the tube nucleus, this one uh. Have a look at this Guys, the tube nucleus will disappear Okay it's like the you, you reach your multi your destination, then the grab driver cabut lah. Yeah. Okay. So we now have two male nuclei. We now have two male nuclei guys. A pair of a pair of uh polar nuclei. Okay. Yeah, sepasang, sepasang nucleus kutub Please be mindful, got two there And there's one egg cell, cell telur di sini ya. So between all this, di antara kesemua ini, persenyawaan berlaku In fact, we say double fertilization occurs Double fertilization occurs between these three ya. Guys, the first nucleus will fertilize Oh, if first time you're listening to this, this is called the fat sound. Lah. It keeps my students awake. <laughs> but no smell, lah, no smell. Lah. Okay, so the first male nucleus will fertilize bersenyawa dengan dua nucleus kutub tersebut uh, to form this endospermic nucleus. To form this endospermic nucleus. Guys, the other one will fertilize the egg cell bersenyawa dengan uh, sel telur kita dapat zygot zygot isn't this like the human one? sperm, ovum, zygot bagi tumbuhan sama juga tapi ini uh, bersenyawaan yang kedua lah huh? so uh, nucleus jantan, sel telur the male and the female one menghasilkan zygot okay so this is the entire process of double fertilization. Now, if your understanding is very good, guys, we can rewind this together in one minute. So what we'll do next uh, is we try to you you try to stay ahead of me because this is what we call active revision. Ulang kaji active. Uh, always reading the book is passive. Passive students who carry out passive revision, uh, sure get stuck in questions because the method is not so effective lah. okay so guys i start from the beginning we look at it together you try to stay ahead of me means before while i'm talking about this point you think about the next point okay so first point pollination okay the pollen grain transferred to the stigma a supra solution is formed, stimulate germination. Okay, germination. 
as the tube nucleus enter the generative nucleus undergoes mitosis to form two male nuclei dual nucleus jantan what is the function of tube nucleus to lead the two fullers that to the embryo site to lead the two male nuclei rise to the embryo site uh, please don't write in an essay uh, uh, Mr. Kotich, the tube nucleus is the grab driver. No, uh, that one is just an association. Uh. So, when they reach the embryo sac, guys, the tube nucleus disappear. We now have two male nuclei, a pair of polar nuclei and egg cell. Yeah, double fertilization. The first one forms endospermic nucleus. The other one forms the usual zygote. Okay. Uh, revision how long? I think about one minute. Yeah. Um, after you repeat a few rounds, uh, you will find that you can do it in 30 seconds. Guys, your syllabus now is not easy. I'm sure you know, guys, if anyone tell you KSSM, uh, senang, uh, that's total BS. Uh. As someone who has been teaching for over 10 years, uh, this is total BS. Uh. No such thing. No such thing. So, I always tell my students, because I'm teaching you Bayou. Okay, because Bayou is here, I have to remove this word. <laughs> okay, so, because it's KSSM Bayou, kamu kena tepat, tepat tak cukup nak score tau. Tepat is accurate. Tepat dan cepat. Tepat dan cepat. Have to be quick. So, if double fertilization, trust me guys, if double fertilization, you can revise in 30 seconds all the points correct. Trust me, in Malaysia, you are definitely one of the top for that process. It's about being accurate and fast. Not fast and furious, huh? accurate and fast. Alright? So this is what you should do to all your processes. Um, mention all the points in less than one minute. Yeah, I, I've done it with all my students before. All the process can be revised in less than one minute. Okay, so that's why I can, I can, I can uh, confidently tell you. Yeah, if they can, you also can. All right, because the 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 method is just to make sure you hit below that one minute mark. I, I've done it before with all my uh, previous batch of students. Even all the processes can hit less than one minute. Yeah. Okay. And the last thing will be this. Uh. In exam, they love to ask you the importances of double fertilization. So, selepas anda hafal proses persenyawaan ganda dua, uh, please hafal also the two or three importances. Uh. But here, I'm showing you two. Number one, produce a diploid zygote. Okay. And then, uh, endosperm provides food for the growing embryo okay uh, if you don't understand endosperm you have to continue to read the next subtopic the next subtopic uh, perkembangan embryo development of embryo of course for plants uh, guys for plants uh, all right okay so uh, at the end of this session, I want to go through a question with you, which I think is super useful, especially if you are preparing for your upcoming... Some of you are having midterm, I know. Some of you are having midterm, some of you are having the Chuba An straight. Different schools have different uh, preparation for the students. Huh? So let's look at this question to, to, to finish our slot today. Huh? Okay, so this question here, Okay, this first, uh, name the substance that stimulate growth of pollen tube. Okay, namakan larutan yang merangsang, peng, uh, yang merangsang uh, penghasilan uh, tube pollen. The answer is, you can write sucrose, you can write sugar solution. Okay, you can write sucrose, you can write sugar solution. Okay, next. The diagram here, guys, a lot of students uh, uh, might draw this wrongly as in, they just draw like that. 
actually what what are all these? This one is formation of embryo sac that process penghasilan pundi embryo di mana kita sebut ini sebagai new cells. That one is the another process ini. The process before double fertilization. Huh? So you should be drawing this. This is the embryo sac. Okay, this is the embryo sac. All right. So if you need to, you can screenshot lah. Huh? Screenshot. But it's, I, I'm sure it's in all the books. All right. Uh, so yeah, I gave you something like this. Uh, I I gave half the page lah. This one here. You can see I gave you half the page. Half the page for formation of embryo sac, so you can check it out. Okay, you can check it out. Okay, now, uh, this question here, they ask you to name two nucleus, two nuclei, and then what is the function? What is the function? Okay, number one, generative nucleus form the two mu nuclei. And the second one is what I asked you to add in my notes just now, eh? uh, just for this question. The tube nucleus will lead the two male nuclei to the embryo sac. Okay, so uh, please have all these two functions. Please have all these two functions. And describe the process when the pollen tube penetrate ovule through microfile. Look at this word. Microfile is what I told you just now at the bottom here. Uh, this is the microfile. So. The pollen tube masuk dari bawah dan apa berlaku selepas itu obviously persenyawaan ganda dua lah. Okay, double fertilization, zygote is formed, uh, endospermic nucleus is formed. Another name for endospermic nucleus, we call it triploid nucleus. Uh, sir, why triploid nucleus? Because if you remember, there is one male nucleus that fertilize two polar nuclei two polar nuclei satu, dua, tiga so triploid nucleus alright okay and the last part of this question guys what happens to the ovule and ovary eh? this is actually your next subtopic yeah and this is what I shared with you just now okay okay guys so I will uh so I'll stop here today uh, for this this part. Uh. Alright. I'll be a little bit more active after this lab because I have a bit more time. Alright. So guys, uh, I'll see you in the next round. Uh. Okay. Alright. Okay, guys, thank you. Yeah, take care. Stay safe.